Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 22nd, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Fruit of the Spirit, Part 2, Faithfulness. And our scripture is Galatians, Chapter 5. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Bob Smith, not a name that exactly jumps out at you, unless, of course, you're a student at Morehouse College in Atlanta last Sunday during commencement exercises, and you're about to graduate when the speaker, Robert F. Smith, the world's richest African-American with a net worth of over $5 billion, which is way more than Oprah Winfrey, by the way, declares that he's going to pay off your student loans, as well as all the other 400 graduates, a gift of about $40 million. And he's going to give you a chance to start your working career debt-free. Can you hear me now? Hi, I'm Bob Smith, and I just laid some fruit of the Spirit on you. Now, before you accuse me of laying some Joel Osteen on you, let me say that whether you have five million in the bank or you owe that much in debt, money, per se, has nothing to do with it. Bob Smith's act was faithfulness, the gift of doing for someone else what you can with what you have where you are. That's what means everything. People do the same kind of thing Smith did in places like McDonald's, buying an extra lunch combo to hand to the homeless guy who hangs out just down the street from a fast food place, or randomly paying at the drive through for the car behind you. You never know when that $8 meal will rescue a soul, because that guy in the car behind who's broke and desperate because everything he cared about in life had just vanished, And this was going to be his last meal before he just gave up and jumped off the cliff. Faithfulness to the faith once delivered to the saints is a matter of using that with which God has empowered you to bless and strengthen someone else. If you're somebody who belongs to Jesus and you're good at something, chances are that is where this spiritual fruit will show up. That uh, talent or gift or ability is not the fruit. It's what you do with it. Bob Smith is a smart guy who figured out a long time ago how to make money, tons of it. That isn't spiritual fruit. Knowing what to do next and doing it, that's where the new wine is made from the best fruit that's just waiting to be harvested. The old expression about a detective finding the bad guy is, follow the money. Here's one about finding the faithful guy, follow the faithfulness. For you today, for the rest of this series on the ninefold fruit of the Spirit, we're going to let Scripture finish our devotional thought because it is our encouragement and our challenge to work this field of producing kingdom fruit. Proverbs 11.30, the seeds of good deeds become a tree of life. And then Romans chapter 12, if your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.